Okay, welcome back. And uh, we're back in the Atom today. Doing the last bit of logging. I think we're going to try and at least finish up this and the long logs. We want to get these watchtowers open so I can be done with these watchtowers. Reconfig this truck. Um, use it again if we need to, but let's see. I think I have, uh, pretty sure I have the entire fleet out here. It's in repositioning. <clears throat> Found a couple of contracts I'm not too thrilled about. It is a seismic. Okay. I'm like, all right. Uh, there's a seismic quest that can be done over on the left side of this map that I have a vehicle over there for. Um, and it sucks because there's a contest up there that makes you pick something up off the ground and then drive it back down. So you can't use seismic truck to do that. So I need to actually like have a second truck go up there and do it. And I think I'm just going to use the CT681 is hanging out here somewhere with two medium rolls on it to finish this particular contract. So it's, it's up here already. This is the Northwestern Tower. Kind of give you a view of got the load star out here. Got, yeah, there's the CT681. What's this guy? There's the burlack. So I got out here. I got a fuel truck. I got a log carrier, which means that's the dairy. Go for that one. <clears throat> oh, that's right. The uh, Kenworth is out here. Um, and that is for the other two rolls to this tower. And uh, here we go. We got our Taiga out here who's ready to do a, there's a contest, or not a contest, a contract for cabins. And then the Azov has got the uh, uh, seismic vibrator add-on on it. I, I realize that I don't have a ton of vehicles that can use that seismic vibrator. Um, <clears throat> this thing can, but uh, obviously it was being used. Um, the Taiga can, but it was obviously being used. Um, so yeah, I was, I was kind of like short on vehicles that could use it. The, uh, unfortunately the White Western Star could not. I don't believe. I think I checked in the garage. And I don't think it could, so it remains in the garage. We took the, uh, Trans Star, the poor Trans Star, we took it back in the garage. It had, uh, done a good job, deserved a break. <clears throat> Being that I just don't have anything that needs long, long trailers. Well, I shouldn't say that. I have one thing that needs a long trailer and that's the Taiga currently. And it happened to be out here with a long trailer, so. I really don't ever intend on using, I don't feel like a regular sideboard bed with cargo or a flatbed, regular flatbed two slot with cargo is enough weight for a little tippy. Enough weight for the trans tire to be as good as, it, good as it is. I think it's really it really shines when you put an entire five slot bed worth of stuff over the rear wheels. So, a couple of metal beams and climbs right up hills and then tips over. Uh, as you can probably hear, I'm still kind of sick. Um, I, had a, I had a rough morning. <laughs> we'll tell you about my morning, but um, I was kind of holding off. I was kind of hoping. To tell you that this is a pre-recorded episode is no shock to people that listen to it regularly, but this one's uh, not as pre-recorded. I was trying to wait um, to see if there was any news on PTS, and unfortunately, uh, it's, it's Friday. It's actually Friday right now. Uh, it's last week, Friday. And uh, we haven't heard anything yet. Now, mind you, it's the morning. I mean, it doesn't mean that they're not going to have any other information about PTS later today. So maybe tomorrow we'll talk about maybe new trucks 
Maybe, just maybe. We'll have information on new trucks. So that's the plan. I was kind of trying to wait, and I kind of was looking at my list of pre-recorded episodes going, I really just need to get another episode. <laughs> just in case I... <clears throat> the weekend holds uh, more sickness. Oh yeah, so I woke up this morning and I've made two cups of coffee now. And the reason why I've made two cups of coffee is the first cup of coffee did not have a cup underneath it. So I filled the little coffee, you know, the coffee maker. It's like a big good coffee maker and it's got like a <clears throat> thing that you just, you know, you put so much coffee in and then press a little dial, turn a dial to the size of cup you want. And I put my, you know, 16 ounce mug of coffee size and, and, uh, pressed through and walked away, did breakfast, did that, kind of came back, was like, all right, my coffee's ready. Uh, yeah, my coffee was all over the counter because I didn't put a cup underneath it. So I had to clean that up. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, so it's, it's been one of those breaks. It's been one of those <laughs> where you're not quite awake. You really do need that cup of coffee, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't there. So I, the second one is, uh, right here. And it's good. Guess the second time's a charm? <laughs> I don't know. Like he said, uh, I'm not feeling the greatest. But, uh, we're gonna press on. We need to get, we need to get another episode. This will be Thursday's episode. So Friday's episode will hopefully contain some chat, some talk about season 13 PTS stuff. Now I don't have PTS unfortunately, uh, so I'm gonna be relying on like JJ and Nathan Robbins, other content creators out there to uh, steal information from. <clears throat> but. Uh, that's okay. I'll figure it out. We'll see what uh, we'll see what kind of good vehicles we're getting. Like I said, I'm really hoping for uh, like six by six CT six eighty one class or Tiger class or even even like Lead Star class vehicles. You know, but I'm okay with that. I think we should we should have some more you know underdogs. I'm, uh, that's the other thing I'm interested to see is how hard is this new map going to be? Because <clears throat> they did say that they weren't like you know, crazy. Um, this one is clearly doesn't look like it's going to be a snow region. So for season 13, is by the screenshot that was available. Uh, I might put that on the screen right now. It's like uh, kind of like a very large quarry. It looks like so. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> Hopefully we get, uh... Like I said, I'm just hoping we're not getting scouts. They confirmed that we are not getting some crappy-ass MTBB wagons again. Those are being reserved and sent over to Expeditions, which is good with me, because scouts are actually good there. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, see what happens. But yeah, today's goal, we're just going to try and knock out these two towers if we can. And if there's time, I have a whole bunch of other vehicles prepped to do other stuff. I knew this path was going to suck. But... The Azov is slow, isn't it? Please don't dip. No, I don't want to dip. As I said, I'm already having one of those mornings. Been, I'm still not quite awake yet. Probably a bad idea to be uh, playing. And... So nighttime, so I can't really see the roughs that well. But uh, we'll make it. And then this trailer's got to go back to the other map. 
then we're done. I don't need it anymore, but I do need to take it back with me, which kind of sucks. But what it is. This is our switchback that I saw on the map. I was like, oh great, a switchback with two medium logs and this truck. The other way, unfortunately, we went that way with the very long turn, and it was uh, kind of rough. Am I going to be able to make this turn? This is going to be questionable. The coast down the hill, nice. Here. I don't think so. I don't think it's got the juice. Strong tree. Ugh. All right, how are we gonna do this? Um, hmm. We have to try again to get up that that gap. So uh, it's solid this one. like that. Can I swing now? Solid tree right there. Doesn't look like it. Nope, it's not. Could possibly be enough, though. It might have been enough. That was, uh, unpleasant. The uh, lack of top end engine in this thing. I mean, even the even the Amir engine, not the Amir, the uh, Tamir engines would be nice to have. But this is this is an example. This is an example of what it's going to look like for people in you know Michigan and Alaska that buy this and start the game. Opa Hill, it's going to struggle. Opa Hill with a load. is going to struggle. 
get a better wind turbine, please. I cannot. Dang it, we're almost there too. It's like so close. Stuck on. Stuck on something. Oh my god. She's not moving at all. Okay. Come on, keep going, keep going. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I should have used the, I guess the, <laughs> the, uh, as of seven still has the same problem. No engine upgrades. I feel like it's probably a little better suited though. Turns a lot better. It just digs its nose in every... Oh, we're going to have to get around this shit, too. But I'm not going to be able to get around this. Because this is one of those solid twig... twig trees. Pull around, yeah, I will. Boy, this path. It's, uh, not fun. I'm glad I brought the CT681 for this one. I feel like the uh, W990 might have struggled getting up this a little bit, but I'm sure it'll be a heck of a lot faster getting up here with two metal woods. Yikes. Could just roll it down the hill, then pick it up with the CT681. Yep. Yeah, it just made a poopy. Got a notification on my phone that the litter robot has completed its clean cycle. The thing is great, man. I'm telling you, if you have cat and you have some disposable income, it's definitely worth it. Oh, man. Okay. Get this thing out of here. I'm gonna use like, a tree. Let's back this up. Turn this turd around. Hold, please, while I Austin Powers this. There we go. Kind of actually helped me turn it, lifted the back end up. Yeah, we'll just push it out of the way. Okay. 681 time. Where am I? I'm on that same kind of path right here. Around like that, because we got to go around. Go up the switchback. Up here. Yeah. Pops tire, possibly. <laughs> Let's see what happens. This, this poor thing. I've blown so many tires on this thing. 
just because it's it's like it's good because the wheels are in a out, very outward position right? it makes cars stable so and this thing sort of is pretty stable too so like the wheels being in the very outward position definitely helps it for you know its ability to stay upright however it makes the wheel be the first thing to get hit and right it pops lots of tires especially from things And we're just going to leave this stuff up here. That's why I brought the whole fleet so I could just move on to the next thing. We're going to be pretty close to done to which I was going to save this for the season 13 talk, but we're going to talk about it for a little bit. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do if I'm going to wait for season 13 to come out. And we're going to stop going backwards and instead go forwards. Or I'm going to take my normal save, Season 13. My normal save has all the trucks, and... I can use anything, and it's you may as well, right? Like, I, I guess part of me wants to just do the normal save, and then we can split it. And then I, what I might do then is I might do Season 13 as just live stream. Switch it up. Do season 13 live streams. Do season 10, probably. I'm pretty close to being in season 10, I think. And I don't want to, like, start it and have it be halfway done on hard mode where I have to pay to move my vehicle. There. And the other flip side of that is I don't want to have you guys sit and wait for season 13 to come out either you know like i could just like pause recording for a little while take a couple week break and come back when season 13 is live and then but this will be done soon i'm gonna say for sure next week like for sure Because there's not much left to do. There's just basically a few tasks here. There's a couple of contracts. We got to go back and up the hill one time and grab two more garbage. So we got to go back up the ski hill. Um, contract to turn in for the for the uh, what's it? Something for cabins or whatever is gonna take like five minutes. So I have the truck already here with four wooden planks. I need to grab two cement on the Taiga and drive it to a spot that's not far away. In this Turn it in. So that contract will be done. That'll be the last, like, large road contract. And then pretty much, like, there's a couple of little vehicles, a couple of scout missions, a couple contracts, and a seismic mission left. So, like, there's not much left. I mean, I'm at 80%. You know, so... Gonna knock out these two towers today. Here's tower one. Just the exact same thing. I was gonna say, is it the same view? Actually, kind of a neat view at night. Okay, so we're gonna leave you there. Hop in the dairy. Uh, oh, we already have the watchtower. Which way? Can we get up this way? Yeah, I think that this is the way to get up. Okay. So we just have to cut through here carefully. Um, I think there's a path down to the side, if I remember. I guess we'll just play it by ear. See where it goes, and then we'll go this way out to the road again. Then we just have to make kind of a sharp turn to the right up here. Dairy is pretty good at sharp turns. Got 
But yeah, we're, I mean, we're these two watchtowers. Let's just take a very quick look. Two, this is the one that I was talking about. It goes there. I have four wooden planks, and I need to pick up two cement there, and then I need to find wherever this generator is and bring it there. So that'll be done quickly. This is the two garbage from up the ski hill, so that's going to take a little bit, but probably do that one last. And then it's this, this, which is two short logs. I got to grab something with short logs. Like that. Go from here to there. That kind of sucks. Um, and there's no, you have to do make the trip twice. So, I mean, that'll be an episode. And then water. This one. And I have, I have a water tank. I just need to put it on something. And we'll do water. And that's it. And then there's this and that guy and this guy and one other contract. I think there's a, like a Tuz over here or something that needs to be taken somewhere. So, I mean, there's, there's not much left. Much left. So, yep, I need to decide if I'm going to just take a break for a little bit or which I could do. Um, I'm definitely playing a lot of Satisfactory in the downtime. My, uh, my, my buddy, I, he wants to, different buddy, but he wants to get together and do a fresh save. And that's what we're going to do probably next week. We're going to start that. And I'm going to probably let him do the save. I hate to do it on mine because if it's mine, I'm just going to play it. Like it, it controls me from playing it too much if I let them do it. It's him and his girlfriend. We've always played games together. And I miss playing with those guys. And, and any opportunity I have to play with some friends, uh, I, I jump on it usually. So we used to play the old World of Warcraft together, but he smartly left it longer, much longer ago than I have recently essentially uh, given it the abandonment treatment. Again, I'm not not really sure I'm committed to going back. So that's probably not going to take the time. But things like Satisfactory will definitely take the But yeah, I'm definitely going to continue playing SnowRunner. It's definitely like my one of my favorite games for sure. Um, and I'm very excited for season 13. Definitely want to be, be either recording it or live streaming it one of the two. Um, like I said, we might we might try and come up with some sort of not schedule, but a little bit more regularity to the live streams if it if it ends up working out that way. And you get to see me mess up in real time without cuts. Yeah, I think I think the normal save is going to be the way to go with that one. Then I then I could continue doing season ten stuff on this save. Great, my turn. I just don't really want to hit that sign. Yeah, this one was uh, hmm, quite a bit easier. Last little bit might be a little interesting. Looks both steep and tilty. Here or something, or is this the only way up here? Holy cow! So, 
interesting. Look at that tree. Um, interesting. Need to get that tree that's up a little further. If I can get that. Get that. Um, how about this one? Like this. Give me a little pull from the behind. Now we need this one. Shoot our side out a little bit. Get our side to come this way. Yeah, there we go. front to come that way. Okay, that's probably good. Then we need our back to come up. That tree, hopefully. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Gotta make the noises. Uh, yeah, there's definitely another way up here. <laughs> there is definitely another way up here. Well, lesson learned. We made it was uh adventure okay so what is this way this way is going around okay well we can go around with the we can go around with w990 this way this try going up this way The snow, a little bit of snow to deal with. No big deal. Highway trucks, highway trucks deal with snow just fine. Sarcasm. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll talk about talk more about what I end up planning out. I mean, we might still not that I need a break, but we might still take a little break. Like things like but between season eleven, I take like half. Start up again because I I'm thinking I'm gonna be done like middle. Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Here. We got this is Thursday, so then there'll be a Friday episode, and that'll give us yeah three more. I I think I can. four more after this one. And then we'll wrap this up. We'll get everything ready, get it moved over to season 10, get ready, and then, like I said, I'll just take a, take a couple of days 
take a little break. And then, like I said, we'll probably just start to... I don't think I'm going to finish season 10, obviously, before season 13 comes out. So this save is just going to stay doing its thing. Then we'll probably just take the... I just got the... Some of the vehicles that I just never went to go get, like the, uh, I haven't got the bike. I'm gonna go get the Tiger B next. That's the last one, I think. Okay, so we have this one, which is to scout some stuff. Uh, why don't we grab, do this, uh, there's a contest up here. up the hill here and we got to come back down basically Let's see. that's not going to show me i think it's just like straight down this ravine or possibly down the zigzag path that i'm going to go up And it's one of those that I don't care. I'm just completing it to complete it. So if I don't get gold, I don't get gold. But I did bring the uh, bullet fire for an attempt to get gold. I think it's the, the best chance I have at gold. Relax too slow. This thing can actually move a bit. Just gotta not flip it going down the hill. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's down that crack. I hope it's not down that crack. is uh, pretty flat. I'm going to turn around because I'm pretty sure it's going to go back down again. What's our timer? Our timer is... One minute and 20 seconds. Oh. Go. That's not helping. Finish line. That's one minute and 20 seconds. Perfect. Okay, so there is... Uh, you know what? Let's... What else can we do? This is, this is what I mean, though. We're just going to knock this stuff out. We need to do some exploration. I think I was going to take something that could tow that Tuz. Because the Tuz is, like, right... Trip across the water, that's it. This is it right here. So okay. that's like a trailer or something. So we gotta go there anyhow for something. So and this is the water. Let's just shut this off. Let's grab the taiga. Do this kind of track. Not that kind of track, this kind of track. And then we'll find out where that generator is. And that could be the episode, probably. Platform. Give the Taiga a hat. This thing also uh, allows you to pack stuff on the roof a lot easier than the uh, little Transtar does. Transtar's just got too small of a roof. This thing, however, loves wearing hats. Here we go. Oh, 
I am very dapper in my hat, sir. Okay, we swapped tires out, by the way. Been watching a bit of Nathan Province, and he's, he's got me convinced that OHD ones are better tires. Um, let's see. Especially when you're carrying loads, the width, the width is like the difference maker. You'll see when you swap the tires, it'll it'll like raise the suspension up. Put like something heavy, like if you're in the garage and you put like a fuel tank on it, and you and all you do is swap from a single tire to a rear tire or to a um, to a dual tire. Mind you, OHD ones are one of the best dual tires, which is why you use that one. And there's like some sort of hidden weight number to it, but I only use the balloons if you are dealing with very deep mud. Even then, you can just use the OHD twos still for OHD ones. I'm sorry. And it uh, is definitely noticeable. Almost seems to like cut in a little better, even though the tire there's dual tires, it's still wider technically in the rear than I think it's gonna be the case. Maybe not. Probably not. Things are really wide. The balloon tires are wide. But I wasn't even using the balloon tires, I was using the MHS4 jet tires, which are not wider. In the rear only though. And, I, and the Taiga doesn't really, he was, he was explaining it as, use, use a single tire if you don't feel like stability is an issue. Use a double tire if you feel like stability is an issue. So like, right. Stability is not an issue with the Taiga, but OHD ones are better for load, so it doesn't like squat the rend as well. Yeah, interesting stuff. He's got me convinced, though. I've been trying it, and uh, he's not wrong. I'm going against... Basically, we think in real-world terms of tires. Like, oh, the rating is better, the, the mud rating is better, it must be better, right? No, nope, it's really not. Because this digs down to the dirt that's underneath, and this tire has a better dirt rating. <laughs> yeah. Well, indirectly the rating is correct, but I think outside the box if you can push push the mud aside. Mind you the tiger does good with any type, really, but Okay, so the question then will be, where is this generator? Hopefully it's not the generator that I deleted. <laughs> oh, that would suck. You'd get rid of that generator, because I was like, we definitely don't need it anymore. Another task here? Is that this task? I think that's this task. I'm gonna drive up there and make sure he's gonna build this house as it. Age completed, yes it is. Okay, so let's is two over here. That is Ah uh, this one. I forgot about this one. I do have another task to do. Okay. Didn't open until this was done though, I think. What else do we got over here? This one. This is the Tuz. 
that's just the other side of the tunnels. It's got to come back here. Okay. That solves that. Let's go back to this. Where's my generator? Where be the generator? Lock station. Here's the other question. Do I actually need this trailer anymore? Logs, water, cars, visit. No, I do not. I think we're safe. Say goodbye. Long trailer. We do have the two garbage up the hill, but I'm not taking a long trailer up that hill again. I already made that mistake once. We're just going to drive this way and we'll find it. Looks like I got to turn the other way. So yeah, this looks like this will be the episode. And then we have a couple extra tasks that got added to the board. But I still think here's where we get our water from. And we're just going to throw probably on this actually or maybe the boron could be a candidate if it isn't already the water truck we made the boron the water truck already it's somewhere yeah, and then i'll clean up those trucks that are up at the watchtowers figure out what we're going to do with them i think i'm going to take the Adam up the hill one last time as well. I'll be our trip up the hill to grab the two pieces of garbage. Seems as I can make it up the hill and back on the tank of fuel. Really the big thing. I don't want to drag a fuel truck out just for that. And I think that's it. Probably even just stop at the fuel station to fill up. We're gonna go that way to go around the bottom of the map instead of around the top. The turn in is. Tyga even looks good with the OHD ones too. I think I think the OHD one is like a cool looking. Gear. Gives you that uh, you know P16 nostalgia. Still do have our P16. I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of it. So the next in season 10, probably gonna convert a couple more fuel slash repair vehicles because we are getting two of the best trucks, in my opinion. The Mac Defense, which is very good, eight by eight technically, uh, but it's like a front wheel only turning three axles in the rear that actually function. Um, and then the, of course, 10 versus 963, which also sucks going up hills. Um, is what it is. But uh, it is a very strong truck and has very versatile add-ons. Right, it's good. So yeah, we'll, we'll probably not worry about buying something like to go somewhere. And uh, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to matter. We're just going to get those. And I think the fleet is big enough, at least for the moment. It's right there. Right in front of us, I see it. Now, this turned into a one-cut episode. No cuts. No speed-ups.
A little bit of muting for coughing. A bit of that. Oh, there is. Well, on that note, we need to drain some of this fuel. I'm not going to get all of it out of anyway. Ankh is up here. We'll go up that way and meet the Ankh and fill it up. And then we'll bring it back down. Yeah, I think uh, we're not going to get all of the use out of this one. That's okay. Fill up the load star. Check the check the burlack. I don't think it needs much fuel, but check it anyhow. And then it'll still be like really cool. That's okay. Kinda like so. Then we'll get all this stuff out of here. In fact, um, and we could clean all this up and then fill all of it up. Why don't we do that? We just stop right here. Get it to the road. Before we turn it in, we'll do a little cleanup. Maybe it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a one. So I'm going to go clean up some vehicles here. And then we'll turn this in. That's going to take me uh, probably a half an hour for minutes up with that of moving vehicles off the hills. And we got to go turn in that. Uh, that'll finish Mount Ridge, too. I mean, I guess besides for going there to get garbage. We'll turn in that uh, trailer. BD log trailer. That is a mission trailer. <laughs> Yeah, that'll work. How much fuel will this take? That's that's going to be the determining factor right here. I don't know how much this is. If it, if it empties this out most of the way, then yeah. it doesn't look like it. Not that low. Yeah, get it down there. What do we need? 30, we need 40 gallons. We're not going to make that same mistake this time and empty this thing for one. Yeah, it's not going to be super low, but I think we'll be okay just turning it in. I think we're okay. We'll sacrifice a hundred gallons of fuel. We're not really hurting for money. Again, like I said, I don't really plan on buying anything going into season 10, so just gotta pay to transfer stuff and we have we'll have probably three hundred by the end, so we'll have enough, we'll have a hundred grand to transfer all of our vehicles. Or most of the vehicles we need. I don't really want to sell the Chevy, but it's still sitting in. Well, in we go a couple more without bringing it. I think, uh, I think we're going to bid it farewell. We'll get another one. I can tell you that. I know that there's plenty of them. Out there. And there's more scouts too. So yeah, maybe, maybe we'll sell those. Check the other. Four things. Okay. Well, I think we're just gonna turn this in. I think that's fair enough. We'll call it here. So as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully with some season thirteen news.